let me just say something to all my conspiracy-oriented friends on the right who think I'm planning to unleash some secret agenda. You're absolutely right. <laughs> that Obama, his powers are so unprecedented that even congressmen now are saying Obama is enacting dictator dictatorial powers by saying that, yes, I'll follow some laws, but overall, I'll do anything I want. Jesus Christ would not vote for Barack Obama. Jesus Christ would not vote for Barack Obama. Christ would not vote for Barack Obama because Barack Obama has behaved in a way that is inconceivable for Christ to have behaved. Yeah. And the key thing here is, yeah, some of the Congress people are saying he could become a dictator. You know, he could choose to suspend election terms and everything like that. He could become a dictator. You know, he could choose to suspend election terms and everything like that. Jesus Christ would not vote for Barack Obama. He supports a lifestyle that the Bible calls an abomination. Mr. Obama says he's a Christian, but he supports the destruction of innocent and sacred life. Jesus Christ would not vote for Barack Obama. But the reality is he's already enforced dictatorial powers. That's right. Obama has already said the Constitution doesn't matter. He has already used dictator-style powers to go ahead and do anything he wants. And they do it with this straight face. We shine the spotlight on an executive order that the White House was hoping that you would never learn about. Now, the president signed the National Defense Resources Preparedness Executive Order late Friday afternoon. And since that time, now the measure has been virtually ignored by the mainstream media. And they act like it's no big deal, from the NSA spying on you at all times to the DHS saying you have no constitution, literally. Mm -hmm. They're doing this over and over again and getting away with it because the people aren't freaking out enough about it. And even when they do, Obama just gets away with it. So why can't he suspend the election? Growing assertion of power by this president to do things to change laws, uh, that's not his responsibility. That's the Congress that's the law even though the law itself doesn't give him any authority to do that why well, can't he say okay I'll run again you know why can't he do anything he could literally declare himself a dictator today and probably get away with it if we let him if you can if you can dispense with immigration laws or marijuana laws or mandatory minimums can you also dispense with election laws again I think we've, we've gone over this ground many what issue would we, let's do it one more time. Can the president suspend election laws? No. Why not? If he can suspend mandatory minimum and immigration laws, why not election laws? Because we live, we live in, a, uh, in, a, in a government of laws. And concerned about this president. FDR had a little bit of this king complex also. We had to limit FDR finally because he served so many terms. That I think he would have ruled in perpetuity. I'm very concerned about this president. And garnering so much power and arrogance that he thinks he can do whatever he wants. Looks 
some military dune buggies. Up here in northern Texas on July 24th, 2015. Jade Helm 15, military dune buggies, northern Texas. was hoping that you would never learn about. Now the president signed the National Defense Resources Preparedness Executive Order late Friday afternoon and since that time now the measure has been virtually ignored by the mainstream media. 